okay so today we are here to learn about playwright and it's a demo class right and uh, what is the importance of the playwright we'll learn about that as well so what is playwright and uh, why we want, want to learn that right and before that playwright is an automation tool and why automation is a is a good question to ask ourselves otherwise we will learn as a fancy but we'll never apply right what is for playwright and why we are uh, see what is automation why we want to learn that right and uh, i'm just giving a glimpse about testing right a software testing is nothing but giving a quality giving a quality product to customer right when i say customer uh, it could be any customer uh, who is investing on this software application development for this business why they develop a software because to automate their business process and as well as uh, you know uh, their day-to-day uh, -day activities for example uh, banking is one of the product that we have where you know earlier in banks they used to do a transaction in the banks where people need to visit bank and come back and do everything which is a huge manual work now they automated their process by giving a bank applications and we are able to do it everything in our mobiles now so that is what software solves right to solve that problem if you give a buggy software to banking instead of solving problem it will introduce problems right like if if banking for example the transfer is not money transfer is not working because of some software bug people start talking about that and the bad mouth and gives bad rating to that particular bank because it's not working that means softwares directly or indirectly involved in getting the good name or, uh, or credibility to the particular business as well to give a best product that's where software testers do uh, they give a better product to them by doing a extensive testing right by following some process and testing that is what importance of software testing okay so now what is we have, we, we got to know what is software testing and what is importance right for example if you have a release one so there is an uh, uh, for example there is an r1 release that when i say r1 release so customer want us to be, develop some software like a, a features like in uh, to example if we take banking they want to do a, a you know see the account somewhere in the mobiles it's a feature right one of the feature that is enabling into the banking application for example take them as a bank uh, r1 release so what you do r1 release you develop you follow sdlc process okay uh, and then stlc process stlc process means software testing life cycle where you test all the features of r1 right and release and release will go right it release will go so r1 release is done now next uh, you know two weeks or one month there could be a release for r2 where they are adding one more features or few more features on banking application like account transfer earlier it is account summary now it is account transfer again they follow sdlc but there is a link between here and there here right that means that means the code will change now the code will change here right there is a link between stlc here that means existing code base will be taken to this sdlc process they don't create new code base they may update the existing code which may impact r1 features as well right that means what testers role is here is they need to follow stlc with regression what is regression regression means right whatever features that are developed in r2 we test it we call this a progression testing okay and then whatever features already into the production that are r1 we also test it in r2 as well because to ensure nothing is broken in r1 because of r2 code changes there is a there is a chance of you know failures in r1 code base that means r1 features that 
tester is more responsible to test it okay that's where so while doing the r2 testing they do regression as well as progression then only release okay that is what importance of uh, testing here okay they, the developer will do the things but they cannot test end to end whereas i uh, you know our testers will do every testing right now assume that there is r3 release okay and r2 has r1 has 100 features and uh, r2 has 100 more features okay that means 100 plus 100 200 i mean 100 more features for example now if it comes to r3 they may have 100 more features right assume that okay features but while doing stlc in r3 they need to test these 100 features as well as these 100 features that could be around 500 to 600 test case maybe right that means they need to do these 100 features manual testing and they need to do these 100 features manual testing this 100 features that means 300 features has to be tested in r3 which could lead which would maybe end up with execution of hundred thousands of test cases right maybe that is time taken process right that means maybe thousand test cases has to be executed which will take its own time right it may take uh, like one month or three weeks two weeks whatever it is which is a more costly for software development because we are we are solving some problem if it is not releasing very faster mode nowadays that too because the industry is moving very fast if you are taking one month for regression it is a failure basically it's a, that means they are they lost their business to solve that problem and the manual intervention right that is where automation comes up what automation does it automates all these test cases of r1 r2 and r3 once release is done that means whenever r2 is done they will automate uh, these 100 features whenever r1 is done they automate these 100 features test cases what happens this automation whenever you are executing our daily base right not at the end of the re release daily base if automation exists for this r1 r2 they just run the nightly job for both the r1 r2 features and they will get daily feedback what is the regression is happening and how the features are impacted for uh, r1 and r2 because r3 has been developed right that's what importance that means if you automate r2 r1 test cases the regression is executing on daily base there is no manual testing required for r2 and r1 because automation is taking care and the time is is not taking two months it will execute in five hours or two hours or one hour that means it saved a lot of time a lot of time is saved with time saved a lot of cost is saved for companies if cost is saved uh, also also manual errors or manual or humor errors right are are excluded okay that means you know if you do manual testing for all this r3 r1 to r2 right there is a small or we are humans right we do mistakes there could be a small errors as well we may miss some test cases we it may fail you in the production again and we'll get missed that means the customer will not be happy if you automate that right so system will never do the mistake right it will execute uh, a number of times it doesn't comply like human and it also saves the cost it also saves the time that is where the automation importance in the industry since we are going to give best quality product and software testing is very important and we are doing faster mode releases that's where that's where automation is what came into the picture and you know people are investing or companies are investing like anything that's what background of automation right now coming to automation tools right when i say automation test automation okay we generally call a process automation as well but uh, test automation is what we're discussing so automation tools right tools we have in the industry like selenium which was leading for last couple of uh, decades and now cypress 
and playwright right selenium was was like like leading application leading sort of tool in the industry so far but it is very uh, stable in the slow process now in in terms of when we compare with cypress and playwright so that's where cypress and playwright are getting their market from last couple of years or three years in that also nowadays cypress is not purely open source they 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 made open source for community edition but they also sell it that means they have their commercials there but playwright is one of the tool which is open source and very robust than other tools right that's where the importance coming up to cypress from last one year and companies are adopting it directly adopting it they are converting the uh, scripts from selenium to playwright and cypress to playwright uft to playwright everyone is going to playwright and that is where playwright is chosen for you know many of the companies nowadays if you see the trending right uh, let me open this playlight trends npm is one of the uh, you know it is a playwright is developed on top of a uh, node.js okay see if you see the trend it is going up earlier it was used to download eight lakhs times now it took like double it doubled its uh, what do you say it doubled its uh, usage that's where the trending is going on now the, again you know it may appear as well like anything after you know in july or august the trending will more go more because the investors will come more right so that is what playwright playwright it, it is been uh very very robust now now we are only checking npm that means node node part but however this is already developed in java say, and also you know c sharp and all python and all right so that is also another one okay that's where the playwright trending now it's very trending it's trending because okay not because something is new tool is introduced in automation companies never invest in that way because someone something came in the industry we need to invest on it no they don't go in with they are investing in they're keeping their money right it's a business for them unless until it is giving cost saves or uh, they feel this is a uh, uh, this is a this is going to be a tool uh, going forward to utilize then though then only they start investing on it when I say investing, start utilizing that, right? But if you see the trending is going double, means that means they are started investing and developing it on Playwright. I'm seeing that in the industry now, jobs are also bumped up in Playwright, right? So that's what the Playwright because it has many features which doesn't cover in any other tools. One of the feature is called code generator. It also generates a code while you're testing manually. So it helps us generating the code. You can just utilize that, right? Okay, any questions so far? Let me pause here. Which framework we use for Playwright? Yeah, so play, Playwright is a tool, right? Framework is, uh, I will explain about framework. I will give a glimpse now. What do you mean by framework, right? Uh, see, generally, framework is organizing, right? Don't scare for framework development it is just an organizing how do you organize your home right that is one of the framework hey i keep refrigerator in my kitchen i keep few things in my hall and dining table here there bedroom blah 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 right it's a framework likely while you are why we do framework in your home because to make it very uh, visible as well as clean also multi-use if i need a phrase uh, at every room is it a good framework no right if you need a water cool water just go to your uh, kitchen or uh, wherever the freeze it is there you get a get a cold water it is not like that i will keep freeze in every room and take a, i will keep a free you know cold water in every freeze right that is a bad framework in a home i'm just talking about a home when it comes to framework in the automation or coding part we follow the oops concept to reduce the code redundancy that is you know duplication of code we organize it very well in our framework so that i can use the same methods or functions in my test automation while writing the scripts 
that is called framework right so we talk about that framework we generally use you know there are multiple framework patterns that we have a uh, hybrid is there uh, page object model is there uh, keyword driven is there or test driven is there whatever it is right we'll talk about that in the later part okay we'll tell all by the way we'll cover all the frameworks okay yeah okay okay thank you yeah that's a good question okay any other questions please yeah now since we decided to go with playwright because of some reasons and we see playwright is trending but people are less selenium is was trending and people are more now now you know it's it's over over or people are there that means a lot of people are there to solve the problems in selenium now to shift from selenium to playwright playwright is a uh, is is trending and people are less now that's where it's you know you people are lucky to know learn this and grab grab your jobs right it's trending and it's a high payable uh, tool as well in the industry okay in this course what i am going to cover and who is the audience was this course right i'm going to cover javascript with playwright okay that means if you don't know javascript also or you don't know coding as well uh, i will explain how to code or start with the coding with javascript and how to utilize the playwright on top of javascript javascript is a base language playwright is developed on top of javascript again or typescript again right the javascript and typescript are similar identical don't, don't get confused uh, typescript is developed on top of javascript okay so for this course you learn javascript playwright and that related tools like npm tools and uh, different uh, axios tool for api these are all been covered with live projects that means i don't i don't give that uh, just i will execute in the uh, some dummy uh, web applications we cover this in the live applications like salesforce.com like that how to automate the complex application we will give assignments to you and we will also help you on how to resolve that assignments right so this course as a live experienced one not like just i will give some my knowledge and you go forward with it right? because it doesn't help you uh, generally if, if you want to learn that way you can have you have many you know tools or videos in the youtube itself you can learn but this will go as a live project one okay along with coding skills not just playwright coding skills as well so coming back to playwright uh, so what we learn right content right what we learn in the client end we will earn uh... <laughs> So this is, uh, you know, this is a Playwright official website, and if you can see, it is Playwright enables reliable end-to-end -end testing for modern web application, right? Uh, modern web application means it, it it talks about many things here, including microservices and all, and APIs, whatnot. APIs also be supported by Playwright, and it covers everything that you want to test in modern web application. It covers everything okay so it supports all these browsers uh, chrome uh, ieh firefox and uh, you know safari and like that right a a any browser any platform one api that means uh, then when i talk about api the built-in api that they developed okay it supports all these uh, cross browsers will be support class cross platforms right like uh, it, it works in all the browser os Right, it works with uh, headless and uh, head mode. That means when the browser will launch and do it its job. Sometimes you cannot see the browser; it will run in the background. It will, you can you can see the results later. And it supports all the language, most of the language trending language in the industry, like TypeScripting, JavaScript, Python, .NET, and Java. And for now, for us, we are taking uh, JavaScript or TypeScript. You know, we'll go with the JavaScript first because it's a base one. And we'll also cover what is TypeScript, okay? And test mobile web. That means in mobile emulators part, uh, it covers. When I say emulators, hope you're aware of that. But I will just give a glimpse. Uh, you know, if you want to test in mobile emulators, browser in browser also you can do it right like this. So you can select uh, what kind of emulator that you want. iPad Mini. This this is how iPad Mini looks like. So. So it covers automation in this part as well. That's what they are talking about uh, browser 
sorry, uh, mobile test mobile, right? A mobile web web automation. And you know, in Selenium and Cypress or other tools, there, there are very flakiness. When I say flakiness, uh, it's not a real issue, but uh, automation will fail in between and it doesn't work, right? So those kind of issues are uh, are being addressed here in the playwright and they came with auto weight and uh, web first sessions and tracing that means it is uh, less flakiness or no flakiness tests will be run so if it is failure means it's a real failure it won't fail for some reasons which are issues with the loads uh, low, uh, slow loading blah 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 it waits auto waits for uh, some time out and it also do uh, its assertions whenever you write a statement uh, it does in internal assertions when I say assertions right it's a checking how to check right verification that is what assertions uh, it has many assertions uh, inbuilt for one web element if you write a statement it, it doesn't mean that you just uh, do actions on the web element it also do uh, internal assertions of the web element if it is a broken or uh, it is it is loaded rightly or not not rightly or right these are all been tested by uh, and by default in playwright that's that's where no flaky tests are coming up uh, there is no trade uh, no limits that means uh, see generally in other other uh, tools like cypress they trade it they they if you want to enable multi tabs or uh, multi users they ask you to buy but there is no trade here no limits everything is open source and trusted events are trusted I mean, across browsers and trusted browsers are also being open and test frames uh, preset shadow doms will be shadow doms is one of the uh, one where you need to write it uh, explicitly to handle it in other test frameworks or uh, automation tools but it is given directly here okay so by the way i just want to give a small glimpse uh, 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 about this playwright playwright has been you know was developed by google with the name of puppeteer right and they was only focused on one browser called chrome that now microsoft invested on that uh, team they hired entire puppeteer team from the google and they came to microsoft now and Microsoft made it open source for all the browsers and Microsoft in investing in this tool like anything they are investing every aggressively right so this has been open sourced and tool is being maintained by Microsoft okay and yeah faster execution when you when you see execution right playwright is faster than anything uh, in the industry uh, it is uh, it has browser context and uh, logs also be given uh, and lo login once is one of the greatest feature it is see when you want to do testing uh, generally we log in multiple times and do testing but playwright gives a one of the feature called uh, authentication json loader where it logins once for the particular user and next time you don't need to go for a username password and login it will directly launch you browser with that particular login user by providing the JSON. That means that is how one of the feature that gives a context of the user at that point. Okay, we save them as an authentication state. Uh, I will I will explain whenever whenever it comes to you know uh, our our course content. And it has a powerful tools like I said. Uh, code generator is one of the powerful tool. I will show you in this demo today. Uh, what is a code generator code generated is nothing but you you launch the browser you execute your test case manually It generates the code for you in the background and you copy paste it run your test. That's it done That means that much of feasibility it has But you need to know how to arrange that in the framework. That is one more thing that you have to learn with a code generator Code generator comes with playwright inspector and trace views where in the background uh, playwright inspector only generates the code and uh, trace view is a uh, captures the information to invest test failures whenever a failure comes you need a logs and screenshots and all right that will be captured by uh, trace viewer and it also has a, a great feature uh, when it comes to screenshots and uh, things all right uh, it also records your video whenever it failed okay whenever there is a failure it records your video it records your video and uh, it records your uh, you know 
so that you can see that video where it is failure and you can easily fix it I mean, you can say that to the, your developer hey automation failure came up this is a recording go and fix it done that means that is you don't need to retest again and uh, give it to a developer you can just download the recording and give it to the developer hey this is a recording it is a failure go and fix it right that much powerful is playwright when it compares to other tools okay any questions so far and you see what are the companies are supporting by playwright right I mean, they are adopting when i say uh, supporting they adopt it for this any any questions please yeah this playwright uh, which type of application it will support web application like right? uh, only web application web applications and uh -huh. api applications both only right yeah both all the layers it supports testing yeah. all the layers web api so if, if if we have a like a sap this kind of application how we can automate that's a web right sap also opens in a web right when i say web uh, yeah yeah it's a web browser application okay web whatever that you are launching in web browser right for example uh, sap uh, will have a desktop right that's what uh, you want to test the functionality you can also test it from web web browser right yeah it has a desktop but desktop is not supported by playwright okay not support okay okay that is what my question only web, only web applications Thanks. yeah okay okay yeah so this is what in a nutshell what we are covering in this playwright uh, programming language javascripting and typescripting both will be covered and uh, playwright basics and web element interactions and how to automate a web automations i'm just saying these are all high level point right uh, the, the low level each pointer will come up and uh, web automation and playwright live applications ap automation will be covered and uh, comprehensive knowledge on all playwright methods and their uses with examples will be given uh, how to make api calls and uh, how to check that in the ui will be given smarter way understand the intercept you know we can also intercept intercept the networking calls that are happening from browser that also be controlled by playwright and and we can also test that that also be given in these sessions and code generator like i said trace viewers log viewers will be given and uh, uh, how to do a visual testing visual compare is one of the greatest feature that we have uh, that also been that is trending in the industry nowadays visual compare means when i say when i launch this bra website right see playwright will test this text uh, any tool will test this text is coming or not right but playwright gives a visibility that it will take a screenshot of this entire screen and it compares with the screenshot that you already taken if small change in color or pixel as well it identifies it gives you a problem there i will show you that as well today that is one of the feature that we want to show okay and like i said uh, we are going to know how to debug the playwright uh, in playwright and how to fix your issues and how to handle the authentications one time login and how to use that login for other test cases will be talked about in this session okay in this course and we also talk about frameworks uh, how to utilize the framework why the framework is more popular and how to develop a framework also will be given by the way playwright comes up with a framework it doesn't require a huge framework only utilities development is what required playwright come itself comes with a framework okay and setup of a page object model optimization test of framework and parallel execution will be also made the playwright supports parallel execution and uh, without any extra development it direct is a configuration it supports parallel execution for any browsers or any parallel execution as well as browser executions okay any questions please before we go for a demo can we automate the uh, vikas has a question can you automate the ui of the application using this yes no no no. What we... no 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 that is what that is not my question actually my question is mm -hmm. hello good good yeah good. Uh, actually you said you said right uh, playwright and cypress now trending mm -hmm. which we can choose for a uh, for a better uh, career opportunities for depends on uh, like uh, packages 
which one is better cypress or uh, playwright that's what right that's a perception for me i felt playwright because if you if you are a example while you are evaluating your uh, test, uh, testing tools if you have a company okay cypress is giving features but you need to buy the fe features and playwright is giving a features and faster than cypress and it is open source which product do you use generally playwright right yeah. so that which is completely uh, open source open. right playwright yes okay. playwright is a open source cypress is a commercial one okay that is that is only difference right no 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 playwright has more features than cypress by the way okay, like visual okay. compare like visual compare is one of example okay and okay. Uh, cypress doesn't support few of cross browsers where playwright supports so this kind of technical challenges are also there in cypress which is been uh, uh i know addressed in the uh playwright and playwright has been okay. invested by the microsoft which is very aggressive development is happening you know cypress also investing but it invests based on the you know customers right okay okay understand. yeah okay and rago has a question that uh, Yes, uh, Raghav, uh, Playwright gives a great reporting. I will show you that reporting now. Okay. So I just uh, want to create one you know, a small example, right? For example, this is a setup that I have made for a uh, time being. But if you're a manual test, and if I'm a manual tester now, I'm learning this, right? And uh, first, I will have a question that, hey, how to automate that particular web element? How to automate this? Uh, and how to write a xpath for this these are the small questions or questions that may, we may have right but playwright comes with a code generator it generates a codes and xpaths for you you can utilize that how to do that let me explain before that i have a question abdul uh, Kerr. will be more benefit to learn uh, playwright or cypress rather than learning gen ai testing tool okay uh, even ai tools okay considering the potential feature trend of codeless automation tool like gen AI. okay yeah see that's where uh, you know that depends upon the perception i don't deny gen AI is going to be uh, trending but all the companies are not investing on uh, ai based testing tool yet because they are not up to mark yet the failures are coming still coming and they are investing manual work manual people again and doing it but future is no code low code tools that's where the playwright is also doing that, that's what i'm going to show you now uh, how intelligent it is generating the code right so if you have an open source which generates the same code and if you have a uh, ai based tool which uh, which you need to call you know buy it and use it definitely you go for uh, you know open source right that's where we, we even we felt in my company hey let's go for open to uh, you know low low code less code tools but there is no never code tool right but that, that is a problem never code tools is not there why could we invest on those kind of so tools because they are failing again the maintenance is high there since the framework has been uh, is open framework there but when you go for our tools we have a control and we can do whatever we want the control is less in uh, you know ai based tool but we don't know how how it goes trends uh, how to improvise their ai improvise their things and all but what we can do currently playwright is trending if you learn that definitely you can adopt any other tools right that's the importance of playwright now i believe microsoft is going to come up with some ai based tool on top of a playwright in a, in a feature then this will be a, a, another trending. That is what they're investing now, by the way. Uh, can you make the font a little bit? Okay, I will try it. Any other questions? Uh, please go ahead. I don't know where to increase the font here. Huh? We'll have option to zoom ourselves, so don't need to do. Oh, is it okay? That's fine. So okay, I don't yeah. know who asked the question, but they can zoom themselves the screen that they are looking at, right? 
the consumer. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, maybe. Okay, let me start with the code generator uh, part. So Playwright has uh, uh, one of the internal tool called code generator and how it is been utilized. Let me show you that. The command is npx playwright code gen. I know you, you are new to this command, but you know while we're discussing on learning about playwright, we'll learn all this as well. But I'm for this demo, I'm just showing you. What it does now is it will launch a browser to me, like this, right? It launched a browser. Okay. Now, uh, if I want to test any any application, for example, I will go with playwright uh, uh, this website only. Okay. I just launched the browser in this browser, which I just launched here and uh, I went to API documentation. So by the way, in this course, we are learning all these features, all these features. This is what playwright gives, uh, gives up and every feature will be learned here in this course. Okay. Uh, we call them as APS, but those are the features in the uh, playwright. So I'm just clicking on community. The assume whatever I'm doing is one of the test case. Okay. I'm going to live streams and I saw this. Okay, good. Now I come to home page. Okay. This is one of the test case I want to execute in my test, test or testing, right? So I did that in manually. Now, if you see in the background, there is a playwright interceptor, uh, which generated a code for me. This is a code. The code is will be generated in what language you want. In this, we are using node one that is JavaScript. That is where I selected. If I select Java, it generates the code in Java. If I select test runner again, it generates the code in test runner. See what it generates is it, it imported and it test is what we'll write it generally. How we how we'll write the test case in playwright is in this way. We'll write a test and we get description that uh, testing uh, like you know description like testing playwright something blah 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 and it generated a page that is context generally in uh, selenium we we go for uh, web driver driver is equal to new code dri- chrome driver right not required here if you keep a page here it launches automatically and page dot go means it goes to the particular page that is it launched the browser here uh, while, while executing this test case and it goes to the particular url and it clicking on that api uh, like i showed in the uh, earlier right like if this api i clicked on it that is what it is did and the community then after I click on community then I click on live stream right these are all X paths right here these are all X paths it is happening playwright as I said playwright comes with the internal framework no need to write you know some X paths like like that it has a big thing of locators get by role is one of the framework method that they have they said hey get go by link link name is API that's it. It will identify that in your web browser. So, you know, get by roles, uh, all this will be captured, right? Uh, this is how it generates a code for us. Now, what I can do is I can just copy this and go to my this one. And uh, I will create one more file like demo dot. You always need to create spec dot. Uh, TS and this is type scripting and paste here now just run that play npx playwright test is what command we need to give and give the file name demo dot spec dot TS It will be very faster generally. Uh, just keep a watch. See, it launched a browser automatically. It is doing whatever actions I was done. So see how much fast it is done, right? Let me let me give a debug mode here so that uh, you all can see what is happening there. Oh, uh, okay.
so while you have a uh, framework in your uh, you know in your company you can just record your script and convert this script as your framework done your work is done that's it uh, one one person talked about low code no code right this is one of the low code no code tool it generates a code you need to organize that code that's it but in generally AI yeah, tools like no code low code you don't see code much there but you will see a code that's it yeah see i have a debug here if you see it launched it launched uh, this uh, site now it has to click on api that means here i will go see it clicked on api and it also clicked on community because i i execute two steps here right if i go forward it will click on uh, wait a minute it's stuck See, if now it is struck, it failed here, but uh, let me re-execute it. When a failure comes up, it gives a logs and everything. I will show you that as well. Screenshots, logs, blah, 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 whatnot. So I'm just going one by one. So it clicked on API now. Now, when I go to next step, I'm just keeping this another screen that I have. Um, when I click on next, next now, it will click on community. Okay. Look after that. Oh my God, it failed actually, it failed. Okay, see, it failed because of some reason again. Uh, why? What is the reason, right? I just waited more than 30 million, you know, three seconds, right? Three seconds is a timeout, for example. Now you can increase the timeout as well here. Uh, in this file, we can increase the timeout, global timeout. Global timeout, I will put that as, uh, something okay more timeout then it won't fail for the timeout so there is a global timeout configuration that helps us in you know, giving a global timeout we we'll learn that and whenever we got a time since it is failed right it opened a report here if you see it's saying that hey in this statement there is a failure because of this error they try to wait for this web element for 33 million 30,000 million seconds and it failed right so this is our reporting someone asked how about reporting right this is one other reporting i know we also have a allure reporting with playwright it generates a nice with pie charts and all allure reporting is also there okay uh, any questions so you can launch code generator i can you can you know, get your code and run it that much easy it is however you need to change your test case names blah 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 that is also there right in this case to test playwright dev site right that is what we are doing right so you can change things and you can run it again any questions please well well using code gen how can we choose the language for generating oh, a has, script by yeah. default will it select the typescript or like how can we no, choose generates, if i wanted generates, to generate in javascript yeah yeah it, it has its uh, section na, where you can select your language it generates the code for, as per your language let i will show you again the interceptor right there is an interceptor in the background if you see target if you select like java it generates a code in java oh okay if you want to go for Microsoft, it generates a code in Microsoft. Sorry, uh, .NET, and unit or M unit or MS test, right? Whatever you want. So it it is intelligent in generating the code based on your selected language. Python, okay. 
or whatever it is. By default, it generates in that uh, JavaScript or TypeScript. Okay. Because yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So that is one more area that we shown, right? I, I will show you one example in generating the. Uh, I showed you, I said, uh, I will also show you the visual compare, visual compare test, right? Let me show you that demo as well. This, this uh, playwright can be used in only Visual Studio VS Code only or like can it be integrated with uh, other ideas such as Eclipse, Intel, JF, whatever uh, that are exists that in the depends, market. But if you, yeah, it supports it. Right? If Eclipse supports Java scripting, yeah, it supports. If, anyway, if you are going with Java, definitely you'll go with Eclipse, right? It supports. Mm -hmm. See, this is one of the website I automated. I'm just generating the uh, visual compare the what visual right so it is checking the visual how the visual is uh, both the screens are looking like uh, let me show you what it generated the report so it is checking the screenshot matching or not right but it failed because it is not matching right this is how it generates it it checking for every pixel Whatever you are seeing the red red, it is not matching. That's what it identified. What is actual? Actual is this. It is expected this actual. What is expected? They got this expected. Actual is this and expected is this. That means while launching the web UI, it found this one, not this one. I can, I can also drag it. See, this is what visual compare. It expected this, uh, sorry, it expected this, but it got actual this one. That's a failure, right? So this kind of visual compare also we uh, done in the playwright. That's much powerful it is. You can also see the differences, pixel differences here. Actual is this, expected is this. You can slide it, slide up, you know, right and right and left to see what is failure. Got it? Any questions on this? Okay. Hope I made it clear. Uh, Playwright is a powerful tool in the industry now. And we will ju not just learn Playwright, we'll also learn how to, you know, I, I will give my experience as well uh, along with this so that you can gain that and utilize that. By the way, myself is Kumar. Uh, I, I I think I missed to introduce myself. Myself is Kumar. I have around 15 years of experience in the IT. I was working as a test architect in automation tools and uh, entire quality delivery process, uh, including automation and uh, non-functional and DevOps. So yes, I also am an instructor. Uh, you know, teaching people or giving my knowledge to the people so that. Uh, they will gain out of it and I will benefit out of it. Okay. So, yep. That's all I have for today. Any other questions, please? Thank you for your time.